Okay, and this is a memo to myself to help me remember what I did because I'm in such a hurry I don't want to take the time to write it down. But one of the problems I have is I was rebuilding the engine on the uh, school car and took the fuel, the oil pump apart uh, and uh, cleaned it out and when I did I removed the uh, um, shuttle from the um, uh, pressure relief valve and inside there there was a spring and a uh, little washer there for, uh, goes over the end of the spring and then the little roll pin that went down through that end right there and it wasn't much holding that in and I just really wasn't too happy about that so I thought I might ought to consider an alternative idea my, my first thought was to take a small a quarter inch uh, pipe plug and just thread the end of that to an NPT and put it in and tighten it down. Uh, obviously I have to drill a hole in there so it relieves the pressure. But that's good. Uh, but then I rethought this a little bit and I thought, well, why don't I just, since that's .440 in diameter, why don't I just thread that to um, UNF and take this bolt and cut it off the appropriate length. Obviously you have to drill a hole through it to relieve the pressure. <clears throat> then I can thread that in there to the appropriate depth and then lock that down and that will make a um, adjustable pressure um, oil regulated from oil pump. Now one of the things I want to make a note of here is if I don't want to increase the pressure today what I have to know is, is how far in that spring goes in today which is the back side of the spring with the washer on it uh, reads what's that uh, two inch or point two three oh see right there point two three oh point two three oh now obviously I'll tap that in just a little bit further and I'll cut most of that bolt off I'm thinking if I want to have some adjustment left in there so if I want to go in point two three oh more than that uh, I'll probably I'll cut this bolt off to Oh, somewhere, what is that? Uh, 0.65. 0.65 in length. Should be just about right. I'll cut that off at 0.65. I'll tap that out to UNF. And then I'll take and drill a hole through there. Small hole. Just so it can't build up pressure on the back side of the pressure regulator. And uh, create an artificial environment in there. And then I can put that spring in there. I might want to might leave that in. Just uh, can't. I don't, I don't know whether it hurt to leave that in or not. But uh, that allows that to go in, and that way that can be adjusted to increase the pressure should it be needed. I'm not looking for more than 60 pounds at idle or 75 pounds at wide open throttle. But, uh, so I'll go ahead and get started on that and then go back and download this and make the notes and drawings later. Take the pictures as well. Okay, I've tapped it in about seven turns, which gives me enough thread to go past the, uh, where the little hole is. And remember, it was when that was right there that gave me the pressure I had before. So, now when I screw that in, what I can do is I can look right down through there. I can look right down through that hole, straight through to the other side, straight through the other side, and that way I can see where the pressure was before. I can give it, you know, another half turn if I want, and go ahead and lock it off. And voila, adjustable pressure regulator, which is a hell of a lot safer, I reckon, than having that little freaking thing right there fall out, and then the uh, pressure regulator spring fall out on you.
Okay, this is a video to illustrate the amount of uh, free play on the oil pump drive shaft. As I have it in the fuel, the oil pump bolted in place, I'm going to push against the top of the shaft, push down on it so it comes up and down. You can see it move right there. Uh, where is it? Okay. Okay, it's obviously upside down right now. But as it falls down, it goes against the uh, recess inside the uh, main cap. There's about a 30 thou float there, so there's no way it's going to jump out of the oil pump.